Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ali if you're new, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys a Costco haul. I feel like I have not done one of these on my channel in forever because I've just been taking everything that needs to go to the garage straight to the garage so that none of it comes into the house so that I forget to do the haul. But today I was like, no, Allie, you're gonna do the haul. So also, not only have I not done this in forever, but who is she filming a Costco haul looking like a not mom? Like, I look good today. And usually I look like a little just what you expect a stay at home mom to look like is what I usually look like in these videos. So let's all give her a round of applause for looking like this during a Costco haul. But yeah, let's go ahead and just get into some of the things that I got you guys. I'm so excited. These are usually, and honestly, these are things that I'm mainly restocking and then a couple of things that I don't usually get at Costco that I went ahead and picked up because your girl didn't feel like going to Target and I was like, we're just gonna get it at Costco because we here at Costco. So some of it's restock, some of it is new things that I'm trying out. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this haul. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and start over here in this section. The first thing I picked up was this maple syrup because the boys just finished one today. So I bought this one to replace my backup one. So this one will be my backup maple syrup. And then I was needing some spices. I'm running pretty low on them. So I got onion powder, garlic powder with parsley. This was literally the only garlic powder. So I was like, okay, why not? We're going to get it. We're going to try it. And then I got this chopped onion. I wanted to try it. I don't ever really cooked with chopped onion, but I always want to put onion in my food, if that makes sense. So it's like a good, simple, and fast way to do that. And then I got this Kinders, Kinders Rub Buttery Steakhouse. I have heard so many good things about this, so I can't wait to try it. Um, I'm going to make a pot roast today, so maybe I'll sprinkle this on the pot roast. And then I bought this Smashberry wine. It's a red wine, and it just has a bunch of different wines in it, as you can see. So it's Merlot, Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon. I bet I'm butchering that. Syria, Syrah, Cabernet France, Franc, France, and then whatever that last one is. But it's a bunch of different red wines. But because it said Smashberry, I was like, ooh, I bet that tastes deliciously sweet. So I picked it up. We're going to try her. Um, and then I did need to put a couple, buy a couple more um, yellow mustards because I gave some of ours away. And believe it or not, we actually go through mustard because this is all Brian and I use ketchup my boys run through ketchup like there is no tomorrow so i did go ahead and pick up and the and i'm happy because costco if you want organic i recommend costco over sam's so i'm so glad that they had the organic mustard but also they have the simply um tomato ketchup which is you know like simple ingredients ingredients that you can um pronounce <laughs> and then i got the organic raw honey because your girl has been going through honey like nobody's business because i've been drinking tea every night and some mornings depending on whether i want coffee or not in the morning i switch back and forth between coffee and tea but i've been going through honey like crazy in my tea okay i don't know if you guys remember whenever i first bought these but this is actually our fourth bag that we are now purchasing my boys love these things they look like um chick-fil-a chicken nuggets so whenever i ask ethan what he wants he's like i want chick-fil-a nuggets with whatever side he wants but they don't they don't taste anything like chick-fil-a nuggets which is kind of a bummer but they are really good they just don't taste like chick-fil-a nuggets and then i had to do a restock of our honey crisp apples you know these are the only apples that your girl likes to buy and these were actually pretty cheap i believe this box was only eight bucks and that has been the cheapest i have bought honey crisp apples for okay and then i went ahead and picked up some beef taquitos i've just been trying to buy more stuff that's easy that i can pop in the oven for the boys to eat for lunch and as well as for myself because i'm usually eating whatever they eat so i went ahead and bought a box of beef taquitos and then brian and i have been loving these things as either a snack or part of our breakfast so yeah i actually haven't drank one today i need to just to get something on my stomach i only had a cup of coffee this is all nonsense anyways we've been loving these things i buy two packs every week 
and it um, we always have a little bit left over at the end of the week but I still buy two packs every time I go because you just never know so yeah this one is really good I bought this Caesar salad um, just because this dressing just because I wanted to try it Brian's not the biggest fan of like ranch but he does like Caesar and it's hard to find um, ra like raspberry vinaigrette at Costco so I usually so I got Caesar just because and then of course I got the ranch for the boys they eat this with everything pizza chicken nuggets freaking taquitos they will eat this with anything so I did go ahead and pick up some ranch I have been craving these chicken pot pies and I guarantee you I will go through this entire box I guarantee you I will all by myself without Brian even helping me I will probably finish this by the end of the next week today's Friday I'll probably finish this by the end of the week so yeah I love these things these things are the best okay now we're getting into like some household and miscellaneous things so I'm trying to prove to Brian let me face y'all towards me real quick I'm trying to prove to Brian that I can homeschool without losing my marbles and so right now costco has like all of their homeschooling stuff so i've been going through workbooks with them one at a time and it keeps me very calm it keeps them engaged and it helps them feel important so i do their schooling right now one at a time individually and it's been working really really well and i do it um around lunchtime after lunchtime which has been working amazing so but i wanted something to do that wasn't only workbook stuff but that they could sit down and just get their little brains working that i don't have to sit there with them but i found these which are like the kindergarten and these are actually things that Ethan is learning still, like spelling and stuff like this. I was like, even though it's not Ethan's age, I feel like this would still keep him good for the summer. And then right here, I did go ahead and get the preschool one because I'm, I skipped the first steps one for King. And we're just going to go ahead and jump in to the preschool one and help with King because King turns three this year. And I mean, if I, if this one is too hard for King, I'll go back and get the first steps one for him. But I'm really excited to try these out with the boys. This is going to be their home schooling for today is just and see like these are the stem which ethan and bryson are actually going to extend or extend ethan and bryson are actually going to attend a stem program school so these are going to be really good for them and just boosting them for this next school year if brian still decides that i am not ready to homeschool yet so now getting into some hygiene and home care and household items so i did go ahead and pick these up my costco had these I missed out on when these were on sale for $11.99 and now I'm paying for it literally because now these are $17.99. But Brian and I both, both of us only wash our hair once a week. So this is going to last us forever. So it's like, okay, like at least I won't have to buy it again for a really long time. And then I did go ahead and pick up the body wash from Costco again because it came with two. I buy everything in twos. Um, I currently have a set that we have in underneath the sink. That's why I only bought one of those. But yeah, so... I currently have, um, I did go ahead and buy these. This, this was the most natural that it got that was paraben and sulfate free. Not phthalate free, but it is paraben and sulfate free. So I just went ahead and went with the Kirkland's brand and it got that one. I did go ahead and pick up some Ziploc baggies because I was running low. That's the only reason I got them, but I needed freezer bags as well. And I was like, this is perfect because whenever school starts, I send the boys with lunch, even though they get um, free lunch. So this is going to be perfect. This will last me well for the rest of the summer and into the school year. I was out of my dishwasher tab so I did go ahead and pick this thing up so this has 90 and the little box that I had got from Walmart had way less for like three dollars less so I spent three dollars more and got like way more so yeah and then of course I always pick up my Tide Pods from Costco because you get 104 for 24 bucks and then these Unstoppables were on sale today for 11.99 so I did go ahead and pick up this big old thing of unstoppables and then i got the boys some more shampoo because they randomly run out of shampoo slash body wash because i don't pay attention to it that much so i was like you know what let me just go ahead and pick it up even though i just bought them some at least now they will not run out and then i did go ahead and pick up lotion for the whole family we all use the same lotion and i liked that this one was fragrance free because that means it's not as many chemicals so yeah that is everything that i got you guys all right, you guys, that is it for this haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, a lot of this is restock, um, I, but there are also a lot of groceries that I do get at Walmart. So if you guys want me to do like the next time I place my weekly Walmart grocery haul, if you guys want to see that, go ahead and let me know and I can do that for you guys. But I love you guys. But always remember that Jesus loves you more and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.